their uh, residents of Meru County have come out in their numbers to celebrate or to, in as much as they're marking the World Cancer Day, to also get, uh, uh, you know, to also get tested and to basically undergo the free test of cancer. And just to give some statistics about Meru County and why probably it has been chosen to host the World, uh, National World Cancer Day celebrations. Uh, outside the national, uh, outside um, Meru County data from the Kenyatta National Hospital indicates that 5% of all cancer patients seen at the facility come from Meru and the Meru County is ranked fourth after Nairobi which has 26.4%, Kiambu which has 15% and Muranga which has 6.6%. Now the Kenya Medical Research Institute Kemri has indicated that there were 1,633 new cancer cases in Meru alone between 2015 and 2016. So uh, probably that is why these uh, celebrations were chosen not only to happen in these uh, in, in Meru, not only for that reason, but also because the celebrations were held in um, Western Gishu as well. Meru now is privileged to host these celebrations, the National Can World Cancer Day celebrations. And of course, talking about cancer, uh, one, one institution is the Texas Cancer Center, who are here conducting the free test to residents and we'll be engaging them to just give us a perspective as to why they are here and I will be speaking to one lady if you could just join me here and thank you very much for joining us on KTN News. Just tell us your name and uh, who you are from uh, Cancer Center, Texas. Okay, so my name is Jentrix uh, Nyongesa I'm from Texas Cancer Center. I'm a nurse and uh, basically today we are here at Meru County. As you can see we are at the Tuskis grounds and uh, where we're having um, residents from Meru streaming in in big numbers as early as 4 a.m. we are having people here waiting to be screened and um, what I can say is um, cancer uh, diagnosis is not a death sentence and that is why we are teaming up like several organizations, hospitals working together uh, to screen people um, for cancer. We are doing cervical screening and we are also doing uh, breast screening and even we are doing health education as you can see like in the first tent over there we are doing um, health education on several types of cancer and how to prevent uh, cancer. Yeah. So what are some of the, for, for now, what are some of the cases or the prevalent ones that you've seen? Is it uh, prostate, is it cervical, uh, is it breast? What are some of the cases that you've seen have appeared or have, are quite evident here in Meru for us as we speak right now? So um, if I can say about the prevalence is that we have um, cervical cancer, uh, breast cancer are the ones that are leading in female and then prostate are the ones that are leading in male. Yeah, so, um, but when it comes to like, um, for the female, the leading uh, cause of death in cancer is cervical. So that is why we are here to screen uh, uh, women for uh, breast and to screen women for cervical uh, so that at least we can identify um, the cancer if it's there in the early stages, there is treatment before it gets late. Yeah. And I'm um, talking about, you know, this just uh, a screening. Yeah. What next after here? For example, someone has, is, is uh, or you could just tell us uh, what, what specifically happens when someone walks in. Uh, do you just, uh, what do you do? Do you just fill in forms? What do you, what is tested? Yeah. So uh, what is actually happening as you walk in, there are people at the waiting bay, you know, as you walk in, they usher you into the waiting area. At the waiting area, people are being engaged with health education, at least to be told on what is happening, if they, they're going in for screening, what kind of screening is going to happen. Then after the waiting area, health education, we are doing the registration and actually everything, we are doing it online. So that in case there's anything that you need to capture, we have the records in the system and we can do a follow-up. So then after registration, we are doing the actual screening. Uh, now, like we are checking blood pressure, we are checking the weight. Then as we go into the tents, we are doing the actual um, cervical screening and breast screening for both male and female. Uh, as you all know, even a male can get a breast cancer, so we are doing all that, like um, breast examination, so that we are able to identify uh, some of the common um, cancer cases around. Yeah. And so after the, the screening, what happens to a patient if they are found to have probably stage 1, stage 2? So what happens after someone is a, or a patient is found to have as it to be in a certain stage of the cancer, be it prostate or whichever? So what we're doing is actually once someone is suspected or you're found to have uh, that uh, prostate or cervical cancer or breast cancer, we have a very uh, useful um, follow-up program that will be able to follow up on people uh, so that if you're screened, you will be told like which hospital you can go to because there's treatment. There is um, cancer treatment. We have chemotherapy, radiotherapy in uh, most of the hospitals around even within the county. There is a treatment for cancer. So follow-up will be done uh, adequately to make sure that everyone 
who has been captured to have uh, cancer or suspected uh, they, are, they are getting a good follow by the uh, doctors that we have on board. Yeah. At Texas Cancer Center, who have you partnered with? Partnered with? Is, is it um, the national government? Is it Meru County? Uh, who has specific? Who are you partnering with, or is it all entities of the government, national and central? Yeah. So basically, here we have um, uh, people from the Meru County, and uh, we have um, private institutions, organizations. We have AMPATH here on the ground. We even have Kenyatta National Hospital, uh, Nairobi Women's Hospital. Mary Stops is also in the house, yeah, and many other organizations. Because cancer, uh, we have to work as a team. So if we come together as a team, it's no longer like an entity of one organization or one hospital. Uh, we must uh, work all together, and we must put in all like our efforts so that we are able to fight um, this uh, cancer that has actually like become um, a major uh, problem in the in the community. Thank you very much, Brenda. That was uh, a representative from the Texas Cancer Center. And just behind me is where the uh, VIP tent, which will be hosting the Meru County Governor, that is Kiritu Murungi, as well as the CS, uh, Cecily Karaoke, who will be here to grace uh, this national event, that is the National World Cancer Day here in Meru County. As you can see, the setup is ongoing as we speak. They are expecting, of course, the county governor, the, C uh, the health CS, Cecily Karaoke. Uh, who we actually told is already in Meru and currently at the Meru level 5 to uh, launch a chemotherapy lab. As I have mentioned, the statistics of Meru County because it is quite prevalent here in this area of Mount Kenya uh, region. And the event will be graced, of course, by the CS, held CS, and uh, that is... Um, in about an hour or so because right now we are informed that we have to leave to that area uh, that is the Meru level 5 where the CS is launching that lab and then we will come back here at this ground that is the task is grounds to continue with the national celebrations of the World Cancer Day. So Brenda we are keeping tabs on this event that who's, uh, which uh, the national event is happening here in Meru County and Meru is again proud to host a national event and being precise the World Cancer Day. Back to you Brenda. And I'm sure George Maringa will give us that live uh, coverage as and when it begins. But for now, I'll ask to take a short break here on KTN News Center, 9.30 exactly. But we still have a lot lined up for you when we come back. So keep it KTN News.